What's going on, everybody? Doc from the Average Gamer Guys, finally back yet again, and hopefully I don't sound too bad. We took a little bit of a hiatus there. I've been under the weather the last like two weeks. It's been pretty terrible. Uh, just I don't know what was going on, but we're finally <laughs> I'm finally personally cleared up. I was also doing some travel for some work, and to be honest with everybody. Just needed probably a little bit of a break from this game. Just kind of refresh myself. We hadn't had a whole lot of news or much else going on. But we're jumping back into it. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about kind of the future of the channel a little bit. Future of Rocket League. Future of the channel. We're going to talk about uh, the updates. We did get some news as far as the new blueprint system that's coming out. Uh, and I know I'm a little bit late, so I'm not going to necessarily carry talk about as much of the news and, and kind of carry on about that, but I will give my thoughts on it. And then we also have some Vindicator crates that we're going to open up. I do want to jump into the new crate, and I'll kind of give my thoughts on the crate as well as we get going. So first and foremost, I just got to say thank you. Thank you for your love and support uh, for just kind of keeping up with us while we've been gone. Hopefully you're enjoying us kind of jumping back into it with a little bit of crate opening action and a little bit uh, uh, just some content you know just back into the game I gotta do my shameless plugs up front if you are new welcome to the channel appreciate it uh, we'll get back to consistent content I can promise that so just kind of stay tuned to the channel if you are new check the links in the description discord Twitter twitch all that good stuff we are gonna do our best to get back into live streaming as well uh, I think we're starting to kind of pan out as a schedule my son's starting to sleep uh, pretty well through the night so I think we can jump back into that at least a couple of times during the week and on the weekends so I'm looking forward to that uh, but in addition to that if you've been around a while just thanks thanks for the continued support likes comments just tell me what's been going on in your world I'm definitely interested here uh, since it's been a little while since we've gotten to kind of chat and, uh, and again I've gotten a video up so with all that being said too please make sure if you are looking for a cool place to trade I know the, the trading community is kind of in a I don't, I don't want to say a weird spot. It's just definitely feels like um, there's a lot of unsureness about it. We'll talk about the new system and stuff coming up, but I think it has some potential actually moving forward. Um, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen for the trading community. But if you're looking for a place to trade currently, trying to pick some stuff up, especially some of those new RLCS uh, reward drops, which has been going on this last couple of weeks, Go ahead, check out Rocket League Trading Lounge and Rocket League Trading Den, both Facebook trading groups. All you got to do, search them in your search bar again, Rocket League Trading Lounge, Rocket League Trading Den, and uh, you should be able to find a really cool place to do some trades, meet some folks, probably link up for some games. They're doing giveaways as well, so be sure to check those guys out. 100% they've been good partners to the channel for quite a while now actually so just appreciate all their support so with that being said let's jump into it we're going to go ahead I'll take a look at the crate let me let me talk about the crate first here so we kind of got this we kind of got this new crate and this discussion about a blueprint system both at the same time me and Slot talked at length about this I feel very interested that they're dropping this new crate Basically, when they say in December, crates are no more. So I found that pretty interesting. At first, I was kind of a little like, I don't know, pissed off might be the right way <laughs> to talk about it. But at the same time, I took a step back and I said, listen, this crate's probably been in the works. They have these items and these events and all this stuff in the works months in advance. Like they sincerely do. You know, this stuff doesn't just happen over two weeks and then they bring it out. No, this is, you're talking about drawing, sketches, figure out what to put in the crate, rarities, you know, and then they got to build everything, right? So I've got to take it from essentially design to game code to be able to create the updates. So this stuff has probably been in the works for a really long time. And this just seems like they're pretty well on schedule for the crate. So we got a new crate. Um, I'm going to roll through these. There's not a whole lot on here that I'm super, super excited about. This Octane decal uh, is pretty cool. The Fennec Edge Burst is pretty cool too. I've seen some really neat designs with this. Uh, not a huge fan of the wheels, clod hoppers, these pickets, uh, these these truncheons. Um, the Octane Kana is a cool decal. I like this cool animated decal. Something a little different. Uh, Sent Sentinel. I've basically seen as the the Batmobile version two in a crate, which you can customize. So to be honest with you, I'm not super upset about this. I'm not a big fan of the way this looks. It looks like a a little bit narrower. Um, Mantis is kind of how I uh, how I picture it. Don't like the boost. Sorry, sorry, Ninja Star fans out there. 
or ninja fans in general. Um, apparatus wheels, not a huge fan of. Knee yo-yos, these are okay. These are neat. I like the creepers. Uh, they're definitely like very much a Halloween wheel for me, so I'm cool with that. I, I'm confused by the black markets. Shattered, I'm I'm ecstatic to have back in the crate. Being really honest, Intrudium, they could have just left out. <clears throat> Don't think you needed this. I think for your last crate, maybe you bring three new black markets in. That's just my personal opinion. Not a fan of this one necessarily. I don't think a lot of people are. So, but it's kind of the letdown of the black market since they've been putting four in. So they've got to find something. So I'm okay with it. Nero Agitator. Um, again, this feels very much like lined up with these creeper wheels, right? Like they're cut from the same cloth. Uh, I, I just think that was the whole kind of like design here to pair these up. This is okay. It's not the greatest goal explosion. It's definitely really different. So I'm totally cool with that. Uh, it feels, again, like this was like a, kind of like a Halloween-type event item that somebody had, and they're like, nah, let's make it a black market. Me, personally, it is what it is. And then we get Glorifier. Uh, this is Dissolver, Fire God, kind of streamline all mixed into one. Uh, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just feel like we've had this too, much, too many times before already. I don't know what you can do color schemes with this. I'm hoping we can pick up one of each of these. Uh, just for fun and obviously that's what we're here for we're going to open some stuff up see how lucky we can get see if the crate luck is still with us uh, while we've still got them and uh, but that's just my general thoughts on the crate but before we get into that I do want to talk about two really quick things let's talk blueprints so basically they came out and they said that the replacing crates we're getting the system that everything uh, all the crates you currently have are going to change into blueprints, and that instead of getting crates dropped at the end of matches, you're not going to have a chance to get a blueprint. And what it's going to do is when it drops, it's going to tell you exactly the item you're going to get. I'm making an assumption here because they have not confirmed this, and we're hoping to get some more information soon. Uh, that just tends to be Rocket League, now Epic, where they put out these posts and they just don't, they give just enough information but not enough to like clarify. So I think we need some clarity here. They talked about um, you know painted special edition and uh, and certified items that you're gonna know exactly what you're getting. So the biggest question that I have out there that I think the community has out there that I sincerely think you're gonna know as soon as the blueprint drops is you're gonna know what color you got, you're gonna know what certification you got, and you're gonna know if you got a special edition. I think it's gonna drop and it's gonna tell you all those things right off the bat. And the whole intent of this was that, again, essentially to remove the gambling aspect of this, let you get your items. <clears throat> it, it really does remove the crate. There is no crate anymore. There are crate series blueprints. So let's say Vindicators, for example. Let's say you've got 10 Vindicators come December when they make the change. You're essentially going to know, you're going to get exactly what was in that crate. Now, granted, you don't know that right now until you open it. As soon as you use the key, the server side goes and opens it for you. But in this system, it's going to convert those. We have a big conversion, and you're going to know exactly what you have inside your crate. For the people that don't want to trade, this is fantastic. Um, I think it's cool. It, again, reduce, it pretty much eliminates the gambling side of things, and I'm all for that. That's great. Uh, it sucks for me because I like opening these. I have the means to be able to open them. Um, but I do get it in the grand scheme of this game. My one fear is that when you get this blueprint, they have this new convert, uh, currency. Instead of keys, you're going to have credits. Uh, and the credits are going to be what you use to buy the item, essentially unlock the blueprint, if you will, or, or craft the blueprint is probably the best way to describe it. You're going to use credits. My concern with it is, is that they get the option then to essentially set the price for any of those items. So let's say you really want a Titanium White Sentinel. Let's say you get it out of your blueprint. You're lucky enough and it drops for you after a match. Well, let's say the regular Sentinel at the import level is, let's say, three credits. Let's say credits are a dollar piece. And I don't know this, so don't quote me on any of this, but I'm just kind of talking through. Let's say credits are a dollar piece, um, and they, they price the imports at three. But then they add on or tack on some kind of multiplier for it being painted or certified or special edition. And instead of now being $3, maybe it's twice the value or maybe it's three times the value. Now it's a $9 item. I, I just am scared. I'm significantly worried that the items very much via like Apex Legends are going to be too expensive because they get free range to set the price on basically everything. Now, if there's a base price, let's say imports are all three three credits, 
very rares are two credits, rares are one credit or whatever, and then it doesn't matter if they're painted as certified. To be honest with you, that's fantastic because then you still get the rarity, um, you still get the aspect of that, and then the stuff, to be honest with you, is relatively cheap to craft. So I think my personal opinion, at first I really hated it. If you talk to Sloth, if you ask him, I did not like this new system and what they were going to. Did not at all, thought it was stupid. I actually got really upset about it, and I don't know why, but I thought it was really, I just did not like it. I did not like it at all. Now that I'm kind of sat back, took a couple of days from the news, I'm okay with it because I still think there's going to be a good trading community out there. What I'll be curious to see is this. They have not confirmed this. I'll be curious to see if you have the ability to trade the blueprints. I think you will, just like crates, which would be really cool. Um, and then, obviously, you'll be able to trade the items after the fact. Um, I am still concerned about it. Again, I'm concerned that they'll be going to be able to set prices for the blueprints and credits. Um, but to be honest with you, there's going to be so many items still out there. Some of this stuff may actually help to a certain extent. I still think there's going to be a trading community, especially if you can trade the blueprints. Um, <clears throat> because that gives you the option. Let's say you have something uh, that drops, Titanium White Sentinel. Uh, at the end of a match, maybe you don't want it or you're not going to use it, but it's got a decent value on it, relatively rare. You can then trade that for credits, and then maybe you have a different blueprint that you want to craft. Boom, you're going to be able to do that. I'm all for this. I think, again, this is going to be a decent system. I think trading is still going to be alive and healthy. The one thing that I am upset about, probably the most upset about, I understand it, but I don't like it, is that the trade-up system is gone. So as of December, very beginning of December, you can no longer trade up your crate items. Now, non-crate items, things that drop after the matches, they said that, from my understanding, they've said that those are going to remain, and that's fine. They have a system for that, and I'm okay with that. I just don't understand why they're basically anything that you have in your inventory come the beginning of December. If you don't trade it up from a crate, that item is locked. It's stuck. You can't do anything with it. Um, except for trade it. That's the only thing that you're going to be able to do. So if you have a bunch of imports from PCC and you don't trade those up before December, you're going to be stuck with a million uh, endos or whatever the case ends up being. So there's some other stuff to talk about. I did want to cover the news. That's kind of what we got going on. We're going to jump into this mostly because I want to get going and talk about the Vindicator crate and see how our luck ends up being I just, I'm scared. So these can come special edition. This is pretty good rip off the bat. These don't look bad. Um, these look like better versions of septums, if I'm being honest. But the special edition ones are actually pretty cool. I actually don't mind these at all. These are pretty neat. Special edition, really cool. So that's a good rip off the bat. That's a good way to start. We're going to do 40 of these today. And I know we're about 12 minutes in. Come on now. Okay. Okay. We got them certified. Not bad start, to be honest with you. Um, we're going to do 40 of these today. Let's talk about, while I'm on the subject, let's talk about kind of the future of the channel, what we got coming up, what we're going to keep doing, and uh, obviously some stuff we'll get away from. We're, we're obviously not going to, unfortunately, we're not going to have crate openings anymore. Um, and that's okay. We just got black certified ninja star, I'm pretty sure, or gray. This is, would be super, it looks black to me. I don't know enough about this boost to know. Hopefully it's black. We'll see. Hopefully we get a good cert. That'd be pretty nuts. Um, so we're going to basically do crate openings at least one each week from now until essentially the beginning of December. We'll probably, the the week before the beginning of December, we'll probably stop because we're going to do some trade-ups. So I'm basically going to trade up um, everything that I've got that I possibly can. I'm going to set myself up to be able to do that. Um but that's what we're going to do. We're going to burn through. I got some keys. I'm going to get rid of, you know, pretty much use up the rest of the keys. I am going to hang on to probably 10 or so keys um, and a bunch of crates, obviously, because I want to see what happens with the conversion. Wow, two of these in a row. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to see what happens with the conversion. So I'll be the test dummy for at least a portion of the community to, to see exactly what happens. Uh, wow, we're, we've got some pretty good luck here going on right now. Um to see exactly what happens with the blueprints, with the crates. I've got too many crates to be able to open them anyways. I was thinking about doing a big crate opening. I may still do that. Uh, I may jump in and do like a, a big, you know, PCC opening stream. If we can get our hands on some more Vindicators, I may end up doing that. Uh, we're not going to go super, super crazy 
Uh, but I do want to get rid of some of the stuff. But I do want to hang on to a bunch of blueprints too. Because I think, I sincerely think, uh, there might be a good opportunity for the trading community moving forward with what's going to happen to these. So I, I'm going to hang on to a bunch of that stuff. But just look out. We are going to be doing Rocket League. We'll have some consistency with that. I've been, I've been playing a little bit more. I'm kind of getting back in the groove and enjoying the game. So I'll probably be jumping into some ranked. I have not played, like, really hardly at all. Uh, since this, you know, really since the Rocket Pass came out, to be honest with you. Um, this is black, which is dope. Um, so that's what you can expect. But also expect we've got Call of Duty, we've got New Season to Apex out. There's just a whole bunch of other games that we're going to be playing on the channel. I, I've always said this before, me and Sloth have said this, we don't want to just ride one game. We're not going to do that. Um... We've pretty much said that from the beginning, but Rocket League has really been a main focus, mostly because, honestly, it's easy content, and I really enjoy opening crates. Like, I really do. Unfortunately, that's going to be gone come December. Um, we're going to see what else we can do. There's the store and stuff coming out. This is. Did we just get three of these in a row? We did, right? Like... I'm talking. I'm not even really focusing on the crates that are being opened. I'm pretty sure I got three of these in a row, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, three imports in a row is pretty good. <laughs> Statistically, that's real. That's good luck. Um, but I just want to be transparent about what, what the future is. We're going to have crate openings. We're going to do some other stuff. I've got some non-crate very rares. I've got some other trade-up type items. We'll see what happens with the new system and what we can do. Um, I do want to jump back into our community designs. I definitely want to get some stuff out for that uh, with this new crate and some of the other Rocket Pass type items and stuff like that. I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to give away, so I've got to find an opportunity to do that. Um, so just kind of stay tuned for it. I just want to keep everybody up to date. Um, but do understand that we are going to shift and in be including in the channel a lot of other games. Again, I really enjoyed the Call of Duty beta. Um, there's stuff that needs to be worked out, but I did pre-order the game. Again, Apex has been taking up a lot of my time. Um, and just some other games. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield will be coming out uh, in November. So there's a lot of different stuff that me and Sloth want to be able to do. So just be prepared. We, I, don't even, I can't even get a regular pair of these. <laughs> um... So I just want to be transparent about that, but we do have some Rocket League contacts, so stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoy just hanging out with me uh, and Sloth whenever we can. Again, I'm going to try to get back into streaming. Some of those other games are better to stream, uh, so we'll definitely be doing that as well. So, uh, But that's the plans. That's what we've got. That's what we've got kind of coming forward and just kind of the, the thoughts at the top of my head and uh, just kind of looking forward to what else we can do. Definitely going to stay dedicated to this game. I also want to make that clear. I mean, we're going to still play it. Like I said, I, this game goes for swings for me, where I want to play it a bunch, and then I don't want to play it as much. I'm kind of getting back in the groove of enjoying playing it, so I'm looking forward to kind of sticking with it and, and, and playing. Uh, and again, getting back into the ranked. Ranked has always been kind of the thing I really enjoy when I when I want to play, so I'm hoping to get back into that and our ranked series. And again, some of the other design stuff. Come on now. Ooh. Well, we got him. We got him. I'm, I think we've gotten every item. Apparatus. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure we have, actually. Yes. We, we successfully got every regular, well, non-black market item, which is pretty good. Out of 40 crate opening, sometimes we don't even get that, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty pumped about that. We got orange, certified and special. I am popping off on these things on... I have not gotten a regular pair of these. Everything is special edition. This is nuts. I'm actually really pumped about that. I, I've got a lot on my mind that I want to talk about. I'm trying to be cognizant to keep the video kind of short. But there's been a lot of catching up. A lot of things I wanted to kind of get out uh, to everybody. So, um, But like I said, I'm excited for it. I, I really do. We'll, we'll just kind of keep everybody up to date on the trading community and everything going on. Uh, I've been out, out of that since I haven't really been playing the game. I haven't played too much attention, but I'm starting to jump back into it. So I just want to try to keep everybody up to date, keep up with the news. Again, obviously, stay tuned to the channel because we are going to do some uh, some other stuff. We're going to do some stuff as we kind of close out on the crates. Um, 
and some and some different things like that. Like I said, I will be the guinea pig and see what happens with a lot of these bl blueprints. Gosh, we've gotten so many. That's two of those in a row. We've gotten so many imports in this. It's absolutely nuts. You know, we'll do a bunch of trade-ups. I'm getting a bunch of my import trade-ups. I'm kind of stacking everything that I can for that. So we'll do either a live stream or a big series on that. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff coming for the channel. Fear not. And as always, we finish with a rare. So honestly, let's take stock here. We're going to hang on to one. Uh, we did 40. We did 40 for the first one, which is not too bad. Oh, those were burnt sienna. Not not orange i thought they were orange but honestly not a bad opening i'm not mad about this at all so we got the cloud hoppers we got a bunch of the basic stuff we got some ninja stars see i have two like where's the two of these right it's not stacking these appropriately but holographic burnt sienna aviator picket wheels i like these in special edition actually they're pretty cool i i think i said that at the beginning i'm i'm a fan those are neat I definitely like those. So we got a sky blue ouchie banner, which is actually a pretty good banner. We got the creeper wheels. We did get one of everything, which is really cool. And then this is not this is the nuts part about this. I didn't even get regular ones of these. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got three holographic ones. And I know they come not special edition. Uh, so we got the new car, so I'll, I'll definitely be checking that out and see how it plays. We got the Lime Fennec Edge Burst, which is pretty cool. We got some of these. Uh, we got some of these wheels. We got three of these in a row, which I I thought I was hallucinating, but I wasn't, which is really interesting. Apparatus wheels. Not a big fan of these, if I'm being honest. So this is just good trade up fodder. We got a Guardian Sentinel, which we'll probably hang on to that. We got the Black uh, Abtruse, which is really cool. Um, we got Orange Cod Hoppers. We got Black Guardian ninja star so that was black honestly some some pretty ripped poles here i'm definitely not upset about what we've got here uh we got the knee yo-yos sniper cert so not bad for 40 not bad this is definitely not 40 items um i think we're missing a couple of stacked items here but uh three of these these holographic burnt sienna we got the black guardian ninja star boost and then both the exotics and honestly a really good amount of imports so not a bad crate opening jumping back into it so again stay tuned to the channel we're going to have some more crate openings we'll definitely do a couple more vindicators again we'll probably do some pccs we'll run through essentially the keys that we've got left and then just really set up for kind of the the final crate hoorah and trade up hoorah that's probably the biggest part uh, the crates we can hang on to. I'm fine getting some blue, blueprints and seeing what, you know, the system has to hold. Hopefully get lucky and pull in a bunch of black markets. Uh, it'll just be a big experiment, and we'll see what happens with it. And uh, But beyond that, like I said, use some keys, do some trade-ups, make sure we can trade up everything we possibly can before the system changes over. I'm also holding out hope, really holding out hope, that sometime in November, uh, or even maybe close to Halloween, we get a double pain a weekend. One last hurrah for trade-ups. I think that would be really neat. So we'll uh, we'll just have to see on that. But again, sorry for the hiatus. I am feeling better. I am back. Travel is generally done for me, hopefully at least through the end of the year. And, uh, and again, just stay tuned to the channel. We've got lots more to talk about. Lots more to talk about. I'm going to continue to talk blueprint. I'm going to continue to talk about just what the future of Rocket League holds as well as the training community. Uh, but uh, and more crate openings. We'll we'll get them in while we can. So uh, I've been Doc, Average Gamer, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for again the love and support. And if you are new, links, comment, like, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Just helps us out. And uh, as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.